Hey everyone, welcome to Yessie TV, where we talk about minimalism as more than just decluttering physical items from your life. If you guys have subscribed before, I want to first of all take this time to apologize that I have not been posting content in a while. And I kind of just wanted to let you know what's been going on. So I am currently seven months pregnant, very thankful and happy to have a baby boy on the way. But I've had a few health issues that came up unexpectedly and a few tests that came out abnormal. Nothing major, thankfully baby's okay, but I do need some more closer checkup. And so I've been taking the time to just take care of my health more and baby's health, of course. I've been away for a little bit, but I do hope to be able to post a little bit more frequently moving onward. But I thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, please thumbs it up. And if not, then give it a thumbs down, but please give me some feedback because that helps as well. So let's get on with the video. In a previous video, I shared with you 25 reusable items that you could swap out for that save you money. Today, I'm actually here to show you 25 more items because I don't know about you, but I like to save the environment, save my health, and save money. Have you ever had to replace a rug because it's gotten so worn out or just plain nasty over time? We decided to invest in washable rugs instead when we moved into our new home, and I'm so glad that we did. In our previous home, I got the great idea to get a white fuzzy rug in the living room of all places, and I loved it for about a month until I realized how hard it was to clean the thing. And when I looked into the price to be able to rent a machine to have it professionally cleaned, it, the price just was not worth it. Next up, washable shower curtains. This was a simple swap that has saved me so much headache since I bought it about a year ago. And I decided to buy it for two main reasons. Number one, I hated constantly having to work so hard to scrub the heck out of these plastic liners that always seem to get just nasty right away. And number two, I realized and learned that the chemicals inside the plastic shower curtain liners can actually harbor toxic chemicals that combine with the hot water mix into the mist and the vapor that you breathe in when you're taking a shower. So they can actually be harmful for you, especially the ones that contain PVC in them. Next up, baby food pouches. I admit, I myself am guilty of having purchased these disposable snack pouches because they have this awesome convenience that's just so easy to grab and go when you're out on the run but they do have a replaceable option or reusable option, excuse me, that you can use. And there's tons of cute options out there. So if you're willing to blend up some fruit or puree some veggies, you might wanna consider this one to still have that convenience of having the food pouch without having that extra waste and extra expense. Next up, washable earplugs. We all know that sleep is important, but for me, earplugs are a must for sleep. But even if you do yard work, for example, you know that your ears can get pretty nasty pretty quick. Same as your earplugs. So I decided to buy some washable silicone earplugs, and I'm happy that I did because obviously they work, but now I have the benefit that I don't have to have these packs of earplugs in my home just taking up space as well. Earplugs can also harbor bacteria if you reuse them, which I did not know this and I have done this before. So now we have the added bonus that we can just wash them and reuse them as needed. The particular kind that we purchased has one small container that we can keep in our shed for yard work purposes. And then I can keep this little guy by my nightstand and then just wash it when needed. Next up, rain barrels. These were actually gifted to us. I believe they come from Home Depot, but there are many other varieties out there. They basically collect rainwater and have a spigot to where you can connect your hose to. You can use it for the garden or like us, we have chickens. And for the most part, they run free, but we do put out water for them. So this will be a good alternative that will be sustainable for us. Next up, plants that can be propagated. Okay, can anyone relate to me here? I love plants, but I just always find a way to kill them. Let me know in the comments, how good are you with houseplants? A few years back, I learned about common toxic chemicals that we have in our home. And so I started bringing more air purifying plants into our home as a way to clean the air that we breathe. According to NASA, it is recommended that you have one air purifying plant for every 100 square feet of space that you have in your home. So in the process of trying to bring more plants into the home, I inevitably killed a couple here and there. And so I started bringing more plants that were easily prop propagatable. Prop is it propagatable? Easily propagatable. And basically what this means is that you just take a clipping of the plant and then 
use that, put it in either water or soil and replant it as a new plant that will grow. I actually grew this pothos from a bigger plant here. And basically all that I did was cut one leaf, put it in water until the roots grew in, and then replanted it. I'm also doing this with a snake plant right now, but snake plant takes a lot longer. But if you like plants and you just somehow keep killing them, then maybe look into plants that you can easily propagate. That way you don't have to keep buying new plants and you're cleaning the air that you breathe. Cloth potty training underwear. In this one, you will of course save money if you just flat out don't buy these and just buy regular underwear for your kids or your toddlers. But if you are going to spend money on these cases and cases of the disposable training underwear, then you might wanna consider this. Some kinds and some brands have liners that still allow the child to feel the wetness so that they, they start to learn that it's a different feeling, but they also kind of keep the goods built in there so that it saves your sanity as well. Because these items add up quickly. Up next, reusable erasable notebook. In my search to find diversified items for this list, I came across the Rocket Book, and I admit I got really nerdy excited about this one because I had never heard about it. It's basically a notebook that comes in different colors and different sizes, and you can write on it, and then it gives you the option to scan in the information to save it onto an app that you can then erase the notebook and use it again. Genius! Next up, soap nets. This item is not one that lasts forever, but it definitely does last longer than average detergent does. The way that I started using this was really just as a trial to see what the hype was all about and to test it out and see if it, it really works. I've been using them for a few months now, and if you have not heard of these things before, they're basically nuts that when they come into contact with water, they release chemicals called saponins, and these are what lather your clothing and get them clean. They're biodegradable and eco-friendly. The particular brand that I purchased comes with a smaller baggie that you basically put in about four to six of these little guys, depending on how much you're washing, into a little baggie, tie it up, put it in your washing machine as you're washing your cycle. And you can actually reuse these several times. And you'll start to tell once they break apart, um, start breaking down that they're not really any good anymore, but you can reuse them. I've used them like five or six times per baggie. So I've actually washed my clothing, my husband's work clothes, my toddler's clothes with these little guys as a trial with everything just to see how well they work and I do notice that my clothing comes out clean but if you are looking for stain removal um, like whitening or if you're looking for something that's scented that smells good this is not going to be your best friend um, because they are non they're um, non scented so if you don't really care about stain or whitening abilities of your detergent or the smell of your detergent, these might be a great option for you. They last a lot longer. I've had this bag for about two months now. And a bonus tip, if you do want your laundry to smell good, but you don't want to harm the environment or your health with toxic chemicals and softeners, then what you can do is use Epsom salts with essential oils. And not only does this make your clothing softer, but it makes it smell so good as well. If you guys are interested in a video on non-toxic chemicals um, or non-toxic alternatives that you can use in your home, then perhaps I can make a video on that. Next up, reusable lint roller. I don't really care much about the removal of lint, but if lint bothers you, then this might be a good option for you. It's basically sticky and you can use it again by washing it with soap and water. Next up, washable doggy pads. I do not have a dog, so I cannot give you firsthand experience here, but these things have great reviews. So considering the price of one disposable pack, these might be worth considering. Nylon dog poop bag. Okay, I'm not saying I would personally use this, but if you're tired of constantly buying disposable doggy bags, or you just wanna be eco-friendly, this option is out there. You basically grab the bag and take the poop with you to flush, and you're supposed to wash this thing. I don't know, I cloth diaper my, my babies, but it just, to me, this is different. What do you guys think? Would you do this, or have you ever heard of this before? Let me know in the comments. Next up, period panties. This is another one that I do not see myself using. The idea is just not convincing to me, but they do have great reviews online, so it might be something that you might like. Personally, I like my menstrual cups and my cloth pads, which I have mentioned in my previous video, so I can link them in the description or you can watch that other video to learn more about those. Next up, reusable air fresheners. 
These things are made with activated bamboo charcoal, which is a natural air purifier that absorbs and removes odors without using chemicals. They can be used for up to two years, and basically what you do is about once a month, you place them out in the sun so that the sun will naturally absorb the moisture and rejuvenate the charcoal. But I don't know, I'm too addicted to essential oils to try this one out. Next, stainless steel earwax cleaner. If you find yourself constantly buying boxes of Q-tips, then this might be a good option for you. It's basically just a metal that you can wash and reuse. And if you have a lot of earwax buildup, then this might be a space-saving option for you as well. Up next, magnetic eyelash extensions. I admit this is probably not something that I would ever buy for myself, but it's definitely on my wish list. My makeup collection has definitely decreased since I came across minimalism. This is my makeup bag. It's everything that I own and it all fits in one little baggie. But I used to have a big makeup case that had the drawers that opened out and eyelash extensions were definitely always in stock. But I gave it up for several reasons. The chemicals that you use to put on the eyelash extensions are harmful for your body as well. And I found that when I would rip them off, it would tear off my natural lashes, which I don't wanna ruin my natural beauty to have fake beauty put on it. So I stopped using those, but if you guys still like your eyelash extensions and you're tired of buying new ones, then perhaps look into this one. Next up, silicone travel bottles. I mean, it could be silicone, it could be whatever other kind of material you like, but if you constantly travel and you find yourself going to the travel size section to buy your travel size toiletries, Stop that. You are spending so much more money per ounce on all of these items when you can just buy one little pack that you can reuse and use your own items from home every single time you travel. Next up, silicone baking cups. If you love to bake and you constantly find yourself buying the paper or the metal cupcake cups, then these might be a good option for you. You basically wash them and they're good as new to use. Plus they're really cute. Silicone lids. In my previous video, I mentioned beeswax paper as an alternative to cling wrap, and these basically have the benefit that they can mold to basically any shape, but they do wear over time. Silicone lids are able to stretch over your containers or your food to keep them fresher for longer, which can save you money in the food waste department. Next up, stackable lunch trays. Stackable lunch trays are kind of the replacement for paper plates. So if you constantly find yourself having parties or large gatherings, then perhaps you can consider investing in a set that you can reuse instead of constantly buying new ones. This is kind of more of like an eco-friendlier version because I don't know that it simplifies your life. It's probably, if anything, gonna make you spend more time to clean up and gather all of the supplies again, but it's an option out there for you. And along with that, there are reusable red party cups. Surely you've seen the iconic red party cups. There is a reusable option that's thicker and sturdier so that you can wash and reuse again. We personally have a lot of stainless steel cups, which I find to be more durable and just more aesthetically pleasing, but they are stackable, so they don't take up a whole lot of room in our cabinet. And when we have people over, we don't have to keep buying the disposable cups. So if you're interested in those, I can link them in the description. Up next, cloth piping bags. I used to do a lot of baking and I would constantly buy the plastic little piping bags and they do have a reusable option. I don't really bake anymore, so this isn't really necessary for me, but if this is you, then you could look into this as an option. Next up, silicone scrubbing brush. Okay, this one's not that exciting. It's basically a silicone brush that you can use as a bottle brush instead of the little fiber ones that you keep constantly replacing. And last but not least, washable food hugger or food saver. These are a bit similar to the silicone stretch lids, but they basically are smaller in size, they're stackable, and they're more geared towards smaller items such as limes or avocados, things that go bad more often. That way they conform to the shape of that item and you save money on food waste. That's it for this video. I thank you so much for watching. It's been really good to be back here with you. If you like this video, thumbs it up and subscribe so that you won't miss out on my next videos. Can't wait to hear from you. Bye. Okay, as I was counting this list, I realized that there are only 24 items on this list. So I'm gonna give you some homework. How about you share with me one reusable item that has saved you money? Leave it in the comments below.